Reedy and I realized we needed a break from Sydney. So we jumped on a plane to Tassie, grabbed a car from Sixth, and we got a week long road trip to pack in as many adventures as we can. We landed in Burnie, picked up our car, and we drove out to Kimberley where we spent our first night woke up early, early in the morning, and then headed off to Cradle Mountain. We headed up to Marion's Lookout. It is freezing, it's about four degrees. Fresh. The light just started to appear, Cradle Mountain appeared, and it just got better and better and better and better. Here we go, the climb begins. They say fortune favours the brave. I'll tell you what, we were brave getting up at quarter to four this morning, but have a look at it. Cradle Mountain in all its glory. Sun's just come up. What do you reckon, Luke? As good as it gets, mate. Bit warm on the way down, so we thought we'd have a little swim in, in the lake. But now that I'm here, it's freezing. <laughs> I might have thinking it was a bad idea. Oh, give me. Oh. <laughs> Once we dried off, straight back into sixth rental and we were off to Cataract Gorge in Launceston. As we rolled into Cataract Gorge, it was really starting to heat up and we'd managed to do a little walk across the bridge and we, I said to Whip, mate, we are having a swim. Ah. Woo. Once we finished having a look around and a swim in Cataract Gorge in Launceston, a bit of lunch, and then we made our way over to Derby. In Derby, we pulled up at Vertigo Mountain Biking and went mountain biking with Buck. <laughs> mountain biking, let's go. And I can tell you, it was one of the best mountain bike experiences I've ever had. And Everything that people say about mountain biking in Derby is 110% correct. The trails are insane. They're beautiful, they're rolling. There's, there's sort of trails for every sort of level of experience, which is great, because Whippet's really bad at it. Whoa, how do you change your gears back down? Reedy's definitely a lot stronger on a bike, so he had a good time having a few laughs at my expense. Reedy wants me to say how he did all the gnarly black diamond trails, but we just popped him on the greens. <laughs> Probably the most relaxing part of the trip. The floating sauna in Derby is something you cannot miss. It's almost like a secret club of only people that know about it get to go to it. It's a perfect little sauna situated out in the lake, 70 degrees inside. 16 degrees or 15 degrees in the water. It's the perfect mix of hot and cold. It's just set in, on this beautiful old mining lake and there's just this floating sauna and it was a great opportunity for us just to kick back and chill out after a fair bit of time in the car. A little mid, mid oh, sweat swim. Steaming. Let's go. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> Icicles! Get back in for a little warm up. Quick pit stop, and now it's time to head further south. We're off to Coles Bay. 